everyone. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm just going to go straight to it today. Forget the intro. I'm just going to go straight to it. Okay? Because we are doing a lot. And I want to get this reading out to you. Yes, I do. Don't miss the other readings that I posted. Please don't. I uploaded one yesterday, day four, day four. They're all timeless. So if you're new here, feel free to scroll through my videos and anything you feel guided to watch, watch it. And guys, thank you so much for spamming me with love in the comments and liking. Even if you comment multiple times, just an emoji, and you feel like you look silly, you don't. You're helping my channel a lot. It does help. It's crazy because I can see in the algorithm, the videos where people don't do that, it's like, they like do the whole like almost basic demonetization thing again. Like, cause they're like barely paying us for anything anymore. And this is my soul's purpose. This is how I live. And then the videos where you do engage, they really do. I have more people. It says, cause it tells you how many people subscribe based on the video. A lot more people because they recommend it more. They put it out there. They put, they, the, the advertisers want to put ads, which is how we get paid, etc. you know? So it, all of that helps out. It really does help out. There was a moment where, and I'm already channeling from the moment I hit record, even if I'm talking about myself, where I started to get scared because this is my life's purpose, but I started to doubt it. The divine doesn't want you to doubt whatever you feel inside is your life's purpose. I never doubted that this is my life's purpose, but in a way, I guess you can call it doubt because I'm like, God, YouTube, and it's not just my channel. It's everybody that's not doing shorts because now they're pushing for short form content. So everybody that does long form content, they have decreased what we make. Any, like there was a, like at least 70%. I'm not kidding. Like a lot, like a lot. Like I would have to, the way that it is now, I would have to upload maybe five to six videos to compare to what I used to, let's say two years ago, make off one video. And I don't do this for the money, but I do it for my purpose. And, and money is a part of life. It's a part of the purpose. I, I got to live. I have to eat. And if not, I have to get a job. And if I get another job, then I can't really do this as much. You understand? So um, that really is how it, is how it is. And I got to a place where I was doubting it. And I was considering, I'm like, maybe I should get another job. And, you know, I mean, I have to, if, if God is, if this is happening, you know, Maybe I can't do it. Oh, but that's wrong. That's a test. The divine's gonna test you so many times to see how invested you are in your purpose. Oh my God. It's all a test. Even if it seems like, why would God test me like this? Because they wanna, understand, they wanna know where your faith is at. And every time that you pass that test, you pass the test when you realize that you have faith. When you show God, when you show the divine, whoever you, you know, believe in, that you have faith in, in that you, you have faith in your truth. And when you are aligned with your truth and your higher self, you are aligned with God. So, you know, so, you know, like you're not doubting that you're not doubting that you're in a wrong place because you're living your purpose. So, you know, if you're living your purpose and you're surrendering to the divine, then you know that you're not doing anything wrong. So I'm like, no, maybe what it is, is God is doing this. Maybe he wants me to do more, right? not leave what I'm doing and, and, you know, but do more of it, you know, but I was getting discouraged. So if you find yourself in a place where you're discouraged, but you know, inside that it's your purpose, don't, they don't, the divine doesn't want you to quit. If you started an Etsy shop or something and it's not going like you planned, sweetheart, you're in the middle of a lesson. Are you going to leave? Are you going to quit or are you going to see it for the lesson that it is? Divine just, it's just a test of faith. When did it start with that? That's already a message off the bat. I'm going to pull a message on that. I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull some oracles on that. And then we're going to get into, I want, uh, yeah, love reading, which is what I want to do today. Yeah. Look, see? Detach from the situation. God is in charge. 
Wasn't that what I was talking about? I was, I'm wait till you read, wait till I read what it says. That you felt like you should detach from something. But the divine's like, no, God's in charge here. This is a test of faith. But listen to what it says. It's just confirmation, right? Our engage, oh Michael, I ask you to use your flaming sword to cut any attachment to fear or drama so that I may be centered in the knowingness that peace is everywhere within me in this situation. Did you hear? Ask Archangel Michael and God to cut attachment to fear. Because God is in charge. Dear God, please help me let go of this situation, giving it in faith and trust to your divine wisdom and infinite love in order to resolve and heal everything and everyone involved. Not letting go of a, of, maybe you are letting go of a situation, but I think the situation that, because this card's next to it, that they're asking you to let go of is, is the fear. That things are not going to go as planned. You can't manifest things with that mentality. You can't say you're living your purpose and then not trust that God's going to guide you through it. You know? And if it's about money, oh my God, there you go. They want you to know that you're afraid and I get that. Because for example, like for me, I'm using my, I always give my examples as a, as a I always give you know, examples. It's not just me talking about myself. Like, I'm a single mom, so this stuff really sparks fear in me. Rightfully so. Because when it's just you, you know you can struggle a little bit, whatever. I'll eat ramen, you know, <laughs> if I'm starting, I'm not doing well. <laughs> All day, ramen noodles, like college. But when you have a child involved, you have a different mindset. You're afraid. You, you easily get afraid. Right? It's not the same. Because you're caring about someone. So here it says you and your loved ones are safe. They want you to know that. It's important for you to know right now. And they want you to know that you're on the right path, even if you think you're not. Or you doubted it. Oh, my God. Because anytime that you do something from the light, for the light, and I want to tell you, you don't have to work in the esoterics. You don't have to work as a spiritual advisor or as a tarot reader, or etc. Um, or a healer to work for the light the light work working for the light means doing anything that is aligned with your soul with your purpose that's the light whether it's being a makeup artist or a painter or opening a store if, if you know it's aligned with your purpose something that and how do you know if something's aligned with your purpose? It just because it brings you joy. So anything that like genuinely is sad, like you're not doing it for money. It brings you joy. So you bring you pour that light of the divine. Anything that comes from love and happiness has the light in it. Even if it's being a real estate agent, you know, if you if that comes from your heart, like helping people find homes, whatever you're that is divine. You know, that's how you know. Anytime that you're doing something in the light, new level, new devil, the devil's like, nope, too bright. Let me do stuff to, to dim the light a little bit. And, and if you fall prey to it, you get off track. This is a reminder for someone, all right? Let me read this. Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me and my loved ones. Please help me feel secure and at peace and fill me with faith so that I may focus on my priorities and enjoy a healthful, happy life. And these are prayers. So like, if you want to write this down and say it, I would go ahead. But I do want to point out, okay, this is not a religious channel. Um, everybody, I respect your faith. Some, some of, some of you are not religious. Some of you are Catholic. Some of you are Christian. Some of you are Muslim. Some of you are Jewish, and I love you all the same. You know what I find interesting, though? Archangel Michael, spoken of heavily in the Christian religion. But it also is spoken about heavily in the Christian religion. That you can call on angels for help, but you're not supposed to pray to them. Because they're just the helpers. They're supposed to pray directly to God. Because it always says, my prayer. 
So I don't know. I talk to the angels. I ask them for help. And I talk about that on my channel all the time. But I never do so without acknowledging God. Okay? And, and the, you know, the creator. Because the angels work for the creator. Okay? You can't idolize them. But they are here to help you. So maybe it's the terminology. Maybe it's the fact that it says my prayer that says that. But if you want to change the word prayer for asking them, if you are a Christian, you know, just, but you should speak to your angels. They're here to help you. You're on the right path from Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, I call upon you now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. Thank you for motivating me and filling me with the courage and confidence to make helpful life changes. I always laugh at this uh, image because this image kind of looks to me like um, he's like, what are you worrying about? It might be because of a child because he's there with a child. You're, 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 you're trying to leave your, you're trying to change your path. You're on the right path. What are you worried about? This might be about you changing paths, though, and they're them and and they're telling you maybe you're whatever you're afraid of. That's what this is about. Because it could be the opposite end. Like from the example I gave you of me, it was about like whether or not to leave doing this full time, like to, you know, to go on a different path, to do this in another way. For some of you, it's about leaving a job or leaving a situation and going towards a new path that you already decided you're going down that path, but now you're with second guessing it. Whatever it is that's causing you fear that you're second guessing, that's what the right path is. They're like, no, it's not time for you to be second guessing things, okay? Move forward, chariot, and don't look back. All right. Gonna start that. Gonna start with that. That was good. Let me put them, I put them in like this so that I can, so then when I shuffle them, they're already mixed up, the ones that I just pulled out in case we get more later on. There we go. All right, let's channel a little bit. I wanna do a you versus them. You know what? Let's just go straight into it. Okay. I just had to piece this back together because it stopped. But I want to do a love reading specifically today. What's going on with the person on your mind? What's going on with the person on your mind? Death. A lot of healing. There was an ending, but there is definitely a rebirth. A lot of isolation. A lot of isolation and a lot of epiphanies wow what's going on with them whoa they are isolating themselves after an ending if you think they're out there moving on no okay if this is somebody that you're with and they're holding a lot in they're holding a lot in with the two of cups and the ten of cups that they're not telling you what they want to tell you is that they want to have a new beginning with you. Oh my God, the two of cups, ten of cups, strength, the fool. This is a union, a union. They admire, oh my goodness. And the lovers, I just split it and it was there. Oh my God. Who is this? This person has been coming through in readings a lot. There was definitely some kind of ending. But you see, this deck in particular says death and rebirth. I'm not going to make this a long one. Like I said, I want to make this a straight to the point reading. I said what's going on with this person. They're healing. There is some kind of ending that happened here that had to happen to bring some kind of rebirth. You're about to go through another cycle with this person. Hermit, you might not be talking to this someone, but there was definitely some kind of isolation. However, I feel like this person 
needed to go through that. They needed to be isolated so they can think about how they showed up in relationships so that they can come out stronger. You see the strength card is underneath the hermit. I feel like you can feel this person's pull intuitively, 100%. The Four of Swords here, you're in a nest, right? You feel protected, you're by yourself, but underneath it is the Lover's card. Well, so while you're dreaming, you feel this person's energy. They feel your energy too. You have some kind of, you have a cord. You have an energetic cord. Even though she's alone here, there's a cord that connects you two. See, 10 of cups. It's like you could feel this person approaching or you could feel that they're about to, if you, you could live together with this person because I mean, the two of cups and the 10 of cups here is an established connection. So it's either they're telling me there's gonna be an established connection or there is one already. So if you already have an established connection, there is a new level, a newfound strength that you guys are going to have, a new way of approaching, a new, a new, a new level of your relationship. You don't just come together and have the same relationship for the rest of your life. You know, you evolve, you change. See, because it's death and rebirth of this two of cups, death and rebirth of this union. With all of those, you see the light of the rainbow, that's angelic energy, healing. You see, the star card, you guys, somebody managed to pull the light of the divine. You guys are sitting on the rainbow there, right? Someone is starting to see the world differently. It happened during some kind of isolation. There was a lot of thinking. They had to strengthen their heart somehow, but there was a tower moment. A tower moment and sudden shakeup. It's like whatever, there's enough things that happen at the same time to push this person to realize that they wanna go about things differently. But you might be here in a nest, you know, holding on to your peace. So every time I get the lovers in this deck, I feel like it doesn't, it just, it just looks so ethereal to me. Like it looks like it's energetic, like it hasn't happened yet. I need more. What? Very soon. With the tower card, I would say, love yourself first. Make the effort. Make the effort again. Because this deck is not this big. Okay? I have two of them I put together. And I put them together in order to get doubles for confirmation. You know? So if two of them come out, it's confirmation. It means it's double the energy. It means that it's amplified. It means that it's from both sides. So very soon, so there was um, a lot of the issues that you had this person with this person came from a lack of self-love, to be completely honest. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. That's what somebody is doing right now. They weren't sure what they wanted. They had to work on themselves. They had to learn how to love themselves first because their lack of self-love was the reason why you guys had so much issue. Let's say they were very demanding of you. It's because they weren't satisfied within themselves. Whatever it is, it says, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. We got that card twice. Both of you are going to have some kind of conversation very soon, agreeing to make the effort. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. 
wedding. The situation involves marriage, reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Let go of control issues. Okay, with finances and career again, healing family issues and heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Okay, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, finances and career again. Financial issues are a factor in your love life and let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally with the deception someone's wearing a false self mask here. A false self mask in this relationship. Somebody might be going through a divorce and the heart to heart, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. The heart to heart conversation might have something to do with wanting to make the effort, but saying that they weren't honest about what holds them back, whether it be needing a divorce or financial issues. But didn't I say, whenever I get a card twice, it means it's a factor for both of you. So there's definitely something about finances that you feel is a blockage in this connection. Whether it be, I don't know how we can make this work, my finances are not that great, or you live at a distance, I'm not sure how we can do this because like, how am I gonna get my finances to move to you? Um, maybe they're head of a divorce and they're having some kind of issues healing, you know, things with a parent of, of, of one of their children, a lot of things. But what's the deception here about? The deception was happening about, um, this is let go of control issues. So this person might have gone through, you guys could have had a lot of issues because of how controlling they were. You know, they didn't allow the situation to unfold naturally. They're wearing a false self mask. They didn't put the effort that they could have into this relationship. And by default, they deceived you because of how controlling they were. They didn't open up. They didn't allow you to connect with them. They didn't allow the situation to unfold naturally. But they are having a, they they want to have a heart to heart conversation with you to let you know that they have been working very hard to free themselves from this. It says it's time to take back control of your life. Okay, they want to free themselves from this from this um, cage. They wanna free themselves from this cage and again, and reconcile with you. But they feel that the way, is this someone from your past is returning to your life twice. The way that they connected with you um, came from a mindset of lack and control. And a lot of times people can go their whole lives and never realize that. But I feel like this person has had enough epiphanies where they they want to change that. Their romantic feelings for you have not changed at all. Your feelings are, they say your feelings are real and worth exploring. They actually want to honor the feelings that they have for you. And they know that they're worth exploring. I feel like you guys never gave that a chance. Religious factors, your love life is being influenced by your upbringing, and this is broken, but I know what it says, by and spiritual uh, beliefs. What I mean is like you guys, romantic feelings, they feel like you guys have a spiritual connection. They do acknowledge that, okay? And they want a new start here. They feel like you're a true love. They feel like they did not, um, this is a romance of a lifetime, like they did not, they didn't allow it to unfold naturally. They didn't give this a real chance because they didn't show up. Look, it says unrequited love. They didn't show up in a way that was conducive for something to grow. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. That's why it ended. Okay? This person blocked the chemistry 
this person unrequited love means that you were giving 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 they were not giving much back so but they know that there was love there so they almost feel like they didn't give a fair shot to this all of this is unfolding very soon what else do you want to tell me about this sweet tooth i told you hangry temptation ardor intimacy proposal message of love Somebody's about to communicate with you. But you see them as a you see them as a gator. <laughs> okay? You see them as a gator. Like you're afraid that they're gonna harm you. They're just, like, you know, like they're aggressive. But they've um I feel like they had some kind of religious, uh religious, religious, um, a spiritual awakening. Holler. Again, another communication card. Communication, honesty, courage, sharing, revelation, surprise, news, text, and phone call. Hold on. It's blowing up a storm. To me, that's like the Southern Oracle's uh, equivalent to the Tower card. Strong momentum, shake up. Strong momentum, sudden change, necessary shakeup, transformation, and hope. Everything that we said. There was, yeah, there was definitely something. The shakeup happened in order for a transformation to, to occur here. Of course. Of course, this card. I cannot touch this freaking deck without this coming out. <laughs> it's crazy. Hotter than blue blazes, passion, sensuality, amorousness, chemistry, longing, instant cr crush. Sweet as a Georgia peach, kindness, tender care, charm, beauty, flirtation, delicious experience, okay? Somebody still feels that passion for you. They feel like they, like, um, you guys were in a pot calling the kettle black kind of situation. Hypocrisy, projection, similarity, blame, introspection needed, Okay. None of you were willing to take accountability or look within at how similar you guys actually are. Um, and there was a, this, your connection was based off control and projection. And nobody honored the love. But there was also unrequited love. And somebody was giving more than the other. Okay? And it was just based on everything that makes a relationship not work. <laughs> okay? Basically... But somebody also realizes that there was actually something beautiful here that was let go of, that wasn't honored, rather, right? You house your mom, them, your people, reach out, strong roots, connection, presence, reunion, and foundation. You know, like you guys still hold roots that you can't just destroy. What's this? Bump on a log, lazing around, loafing, inertia, false start, non-response, disinterest. Somebody feels like you had a false start. Like they weren't putting in the effort. They were lazing around. They were non-responsive. Like I said, it was unrequited. They acted like they weren't interested. It was all projection. But now they realize like how special that it was special, that it was meaningful. You understand? And somebody wants to come forward and have a completely different experience with you now. Comment down below if this has happened for you. Remember, I'm reading somebody's energy, so I'm not sure if they're going, but it says very soon. I was like, sometimes I can read on the energy and they don't actually do it, but it's in their mind. But here there's a lot of action. Okay, like very soon, heart to heart conversation. Like they're actually going to take action on it. Okay. Seeing clearly. They weren't seeing things clearly anymore. Two of Cups, look at this. Seeing clearly and the Two of Emotion, which is the Two of Cups, which is this one, which is a partnership, love. Let me read it. It's time to view things from a different perspective. You have the blessed gift to see past the current situation and envision amazing possibilities. Don't worry. The pause in momentum while you rethink your plan won't last. Embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you. I mean, literally, that's what the reading is about. So that's confirmation. And it's about the two of cups here. A relationship close, grows closer as two people fall in love. A current relationship grows much stronger. Friendships may deepen into a spiritual connection. 
mutual respect and understanding exist or will develop. Don't give up on relationships that feel challenging to you. There's still hope. It says that. That's how you know. Like, I'm not just trying to, like, spit out a fairy tale. Like, if this is what's on the table, I got to... If it, this is what's on the table, sweetheart, I got to read it as it is, even if it sounds like the same old, same old, but you're literally seeing it come out. I'm to the point where I usually use more tarot, but this time I used more oracles, which, and this is tarot, but the, it has words underneath it. So like, you know, there isn't that much interpretation. Like, you know, it's speaking to you pretty clear. pull something from the um you know i had a comment i've been on this channel for years now and no one ever made a comment about this they're like what happened to you <laughs> i don't know you guys never notice you see my whole arm is destroyed right no one's ever noticed that okay no i've never self-harmed or anything like that just letting you know i almost died though because look at how close that is to my vein okay when i was 13 years old i was chasing my brother's friend in the yard he had the cordless phone and i wanted to call my mom and he had me chase it was a long yard so i was running full speed my mom in the kitchen had one of those doors that have like the four glass panels the windows and he shut it while i was running like that my hand went through the window i pulled it out it destroyed my hand i went like a year where i couldn't even close my um uh, my hand they had to call the emergency plastic surgeon to even and they said I, I was like half a centimeter away from cutting um the muscle and it then i would have lost mobility of this hand and it and i could see my i thought i was gonna die because i could see my vein and it looks like it like you know when people unalive themselves which is unfortunate they sit like look at where you know look at where it ended you know so i'm sorry if that just grossed you out but so, i'm like i'm surprised one person in like four years <laughs> commented like i see you have a scar or whatever i deleted the comment because i didn't want like people staring but now i'm like then i was like you know what fine i'm i'm not embarrassed of it you know how many times i've gone years knowing people and they don't even notice that i have it have that because like no one really goes around staring at people's forearms <laughs> anyway that's what okay let me pull that's what happened to me Of course, that twin flame card was trying to. This is a, this is somebody's twin flame. This is twin flame connection. Secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. My dogs again. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. See, my dogs are like, they are going at it a lot today. What, what are these? Okay, I'm going to have to pull the twin flame card out because it keeps landing on the bottom. Twin flames, your passion ignites. I mean, self-explanatory, romance, Cupid arrows strikes. Cupid's arrows strikes. Cupid's arrow strikes, not arrows. <laughs> Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others, okay? So this is the thing, right? So there's a part of you that might not want to even respond to this person because of what you've gone through, like what you think you, well, somebody told me that I need to go no contact. I need to not talk to this person. I need to do this. I need, Stop whatever. Deep, I don't want to hear it. Deep in your heart, you already know what you want to do. So that's what you need to follow. Okay. I'm going to pull another one. So I'm going to have to check on these dogs because obviously I think someone's there. Surrender. You guys are surrendering. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let it all go and it'll work out. You guys need to just let go. There's a lot of resentment. You got to let it go or else it's not going to work out. Look inside yourself. Examine what's causing you to feel this way. Because a lot of the things, I'm not saying to blame yourself, but didn't I say it was like the pot calling the kettle black kind of situation? Like you both have issues, honestly. Yeah. 
All right. Okay. Love and light, you guys. I'm going to leave it here.